Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Fenerbahce to Glory. In this episode we take a look at our January transfer window alongside a big game against Galatasaray and look at how we got on against Real Madrid in the knockout rounds of the Champions League. Looking at the transfers that we've brought in during this window, and we've had a decent window so far, even though it's only just opened, we brought in Ola Sobakan from Bodo Glynn. I probably butchered his name, but he looks like a decent left winger to fit our 4 2 3 1 system. Player who's going to be off the bench supporting Rossi and bringing more depth to the team. The next player that we brought in was an absolute steal at 4.2 million, but it's mainly all in add-ons. So what more could you want? It's David Datro for Fana, one of the best players on the game, one of the best wonder kids. He hasn't, he's going to develop so well because he's going to be playing every single game. I want him to play striker, but he can play left or right wing as well. He's going to be absolutely insane for us. I already know he's going to be good. There's just no two ways about it. We also sold Serda Dursan. He wanted to go, never played for me was never going to play. He's just not good enough at the level that I want. I know he's Turkish and he's got good international cap goal to game ratio, but just was never going to fit my system. Now let's take a look at how we did up until the Galatasaray game. Where we left off in the last episode, we had just lost to Eintracht Frankfurt in the Champions League, but we went on to beat Istanbul Burspor 5-2, Konya Spor 4-1. We then had the World Cup break. We then went to play a friendly tournament friendlies with Chelsea and Galatasaray. We beat Denzel Spore, Geisentep, Kayesa Spore, Faith and Istanbul back at Shashir to put really some great form together going into the Galatasaray game. The big game lineup is here and it's the news that all Fenerbahce fans wanted to hear. David Datro Fafana gets his debut against Galatasaray. The Fenerbahce lineup and form is very strong. We've won the last five games. It's the 4-2-3-1 attacking tactic with Fafana starting out on the left is the only big change going into this game. Galatasaray are coming with good form. They've got four wins out of five. Icardi and Mertens in the team as well. They'll be very, very strong. But we are top of the league and we're only five points above Besiktas. So we need to bring that gap up to eight after whooping Galatasaray in the Istanbul derby. Let's go, boys. I'm expecting big performances. Everyone's going to want to get on the score sheet in this game. It's a poor cross in to start from Ossie Samuel. Masrela was there with the claim. Masrela with the punt upfield. Icardi beaten in the air. 30 to Samuel. Samuel going to roam down the right. It's a great ball into Lincoln. Lincoln's in. He's got a score. Oh, Masrela with an easy save. Masrela clears again. Icardi beaten in the air again, but this time Mertens is there. Karem. Oh, no. Is this going to be a... Oh, Serdar's there. 30. Hoops it. Here is the main man. Datro Fafana beats his man. Still going. Datro Fafana. Can he put in the cross for Pedro? It's looped and it's in. It's another early goal. Come on, Galata uh, Fenerbahce. I nearly said Galatasaray there. <laughs> Come on, Fenerbahce. Another early goal against our big rivals. Let's go. What a way to kick off the game. An assist from Datro. Erfan Chan's ball in. Pedro rises. Pedro scores. What a start. What a start. 10 minutes in. Come on, boys. 2-0 to Fenerbahce. An unbelievable start to the Istanbul derby. The fans are going mad in the stands. Jao Pedro with two goals already. He's on a hat-trick. We're not even 20 minutes in. What a lad. Absolute dream performance. Everyone's getting some praise. This is absolutely class. We are absolutely dominating Galatasaray. Oh, I can't believe it. I thought it'd be a tougher game with Mertens, Icardi in the team, but that trophy for Farnas playing a 7.5, Jao Pedro an 8.2. The rest of the boys looking good as well. Chan ball in from the corner. Perez gets beaten in the air. Rashica, the on loan Norwich man. Ose Samuel. Good ball in to Datro. Datro on the wing again. Puts a dangerous ball in, but it's cleared by Leo Dubois. Karem Samuel's there in tons of space. Ose Samuel, Erfan Chan. Can he find the right ball? He can. It's that true for Fana. It's a goal on his debut. The fans are loving him already. What a boost to the confidence. That is to David Datro for Fana as he heads the ball in to make it 3 0 before half time. They've said that some of the Galatasaray fans are already leaving the stadium. It is a game of two halves, but 3 0 up 
for Fenerbahce. The fans are going crazy in the stands for this sellout game. Rashica, Nelson. Galatasaray not really mounted anything yet. And Alte will claim that. And he's in no rush to get rid of this. He's just looking around, playing for time. Jao Pedro wins it. Datro's in. Can Datro get a second? Oh, it's a wayward finish. Wayward finish, but he should have scored. Could have had two on his debut against Galatasaray. They, that, the fans would have been absolutely loving that. Serdar now wins the ball back with a great tackle. Ferdy. He's got space on the right wing. Irfan Chan gets two-footed by Dubois, and he's going to make it worse for Galatasaray. He's been sent off, and... I mean, why would you do it in a derby game? You're 3-0 down. It could be worse. This could be an absolute thumping for Galatasaray. The Fenerbahce fans are just saying, attack, attack, attack. Jao Pedro, Alioski, Crespo finds Lincoln. Lincoln finds Pedro, finds Datro. Datro chips the keeper for his second goal of the game. What a signing this young lad is. Two goals on his debut in the biggest game of the season. This guy takes the pressure like a duck to water. Let's make some subs. The game's done. Let's bring on some subs. Jao Pedro, Batsuai is on. Solar back and can make his debut. Ossie Samuel's tired. We'll put Salai on. And then we'll change out Miguel Crespo for Arda Gula. And we'll put Lincoln in the box the box roles. Not his most suited role, but Ardagula should get some time on the pitch. Especially he is the future. Him and David Datro for Fana. Lincoln's nicked it and Lincoln. Oh Miss Rayla. Keeping Galatasaray. I would say in the game, but they're out of the game. I mean it's it's four nil. This could be seven or eight by the time we finish boys. Oh, it's not a bad ball in solar back in. What a touch. What a touch. He keeps going. He keeps going. Oh nearly goal of the season there from Solar back on off the bench. Must Rayla clear is it? Perez, Fafana, and Alioski linking up well in their first game together here. What a ball in. Can David find the right ball? That's why. And Batman makes it 5 0. 13th goal of the season. Mitzi Batshuayi. This game is done and dusted. Galatasaray fans are absolutely going mad at their team. The ones that are left anyway. Must Rayla with the claim. There's only not long to go in this game. Can Galatasaray get, get something back? I mean, even at... Oh, Icardi's in. Icardi's got a score. Alte makes the save. I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference at 5-0, but it would have been a bit more of a positive towards the end of the game for them. It's a free kick now. Lincoln lines it up. Lincoln! Oh! I think the keeper had it covered, but who could have beat them 6-0? What a result that would have been. I mean, 5-0 is still very impressive. Perez into Batman. Batman to Alioski. That throw for Fana finds the space. What a ball in. Oh, too much on it there. I think I'm giving Datro too much praise here. He's playing a 10, though. He's had the perfect debut. I mean, if he could get a hat-trick on his debut. Sol back and in. Oh, he's unlucky. He's unlucky. We're looking for another debutant goal there. Didn't quite happen. Gula now with the corner. Gula whips it in. Perez gets beat in the air again. But there's Datro into Arda. What can Arda do here? Plays it round with Serdar, and that's the end of the attack. We've I mean, had 13 shots on target, scored five goals. What a performance this is from the boys. Absolutely, solidly impressive. Cannot have asked for anything more. 5-0 win. What a win. The ratings are in. Fafana, man of the match, surely with that performance. Two goals. What a performance. We go into our Champions League games with great form. As mentioned, our form did pick up after we beat Galatasaray in the big Istanbul derby. We went and won a Turkish Cup game 6-2 with a rotated squad. Adama Demispor are in good form this season, so a draw away from home will take that. wasn't the best result, but we can move on from there. Hatia Spor, we beat them 2-0. Kazim Pasa beat them 2-0. Trabzon Spor, we beat them 3-0. They were second at the time as well. And then Garena Spor, we just absolutely thumped them 6-0. Now let's go into the Real Madrid game in the Champions League round of 16 first leg. Real Madrid are not going to take it easy on us in this qualifying game. They've put out their best squad with Benzema, Vinny Jr., Valverde, Kroos, Modric, Tua, many. That, that's an absolutely insane team for us. We've gone with Datro, Fofana and Solbakken on the wings with Jao Pedro up front. 
We've put our best team out as well. We're at home. It's going to be a tough game. We're going to take the game to them. It'll be a hostile atmosphere in the Champions League. Let's go out there. Let's go and give them what Fenerbahce are all about. A solid game, physical performance. And let's see what we can do against the biggest and best teams in Europe, the current holders of the Champions League. It's a sellout game. Let's go, boys. Let's not disgrace ourselves. First attack goes to us. Oh. Courtois picks the ball up, rolls it out to Militao. Militao hoofs it forward. Alioski wins it. Crespo, Ferdi, Chan. Oh, that would have been the dream. The absolute dream start, but it wasn't quite there. Courtois to Militao now. We're putting good pressure on Modric in the midfield. But Real Madrid do have silky ballers that can play it around us like this. Kroos in space. We can't give Kroos that space. Samuel up against Vinny. Samuel's got the pace, but Vinny is absolutely world class. Sol back and what a ball. Militao comfortably heads it back to Courtois. I thought Jean Pedro might have got him behind, but it's Real Madrid we're playing. We're not playing a Turkish league game. Ferdi all over Vinny there. Ossie Samuel. Still Ossie Samuel. Ball over top. That throw. Oh, what a save from Thibaut Courtois. What a save. We could have had two goals in already. Oh, the heart rate's going through the roof. We've had an absolute barnstorming start to the game. Can we keep the pressure on? The fans are building the atmosphere in the stadium. They're chanting, singing, dancing. There's a cauldron. The heat in the stadium's high. Rudiger into Modric. Valverde. No silly tackles there. Chouameni. Oh, it was a silly tackle, but Benzema taps it in. See, that's the thing. You've got to take your chances against the bigger teams because they'll have one chance, one bite of the cherry, and it's disallowed. I've got away with one there because that looked like it was going to be a goal. Rudiger now into Chouameni. Chouameni back to Militao. We're putting on good pressure, but Real Madrid silky ball is in behind. Sir Dark covers well against Kroos. Perez now. Alte. Luan Perez. Forced to hoof it. Ja Pedro, can he? He wins the header. Sol back in into Chan. That throws in. That throw. Slides it past Courtois. That throw for Fana. Come on, that throw. What a goal from that throw for Fana. Militar with the mistake. And for Fana's in and for Fana scores. Free kick now. Irfan Chan lines it up. What can he do from this? Floats one. Courtois with a save. Well, that would have been an absolutely insane goal. Would have been two up as well. The boys are putting pressure on. The atmosphere in the stadium is absolutely insane. It's cleared away. Sol back and beaten in the air. That throws it there again. That throw, but this time Courtois comes out on top. That throw for Fana looking like an absolute world-class baller for that 4 million that we paid for him. Ossi Samuel now. Sol back in. What a cross in. Fafana's there. Fafana gets his second. What a cross from the two. The two new signings, Sol back in and Datro Fafana linking up. And Datro Fafana with the headed goal. What a goal. Come on, boys. This is the dream. Real Madrid getting dominated. Irfan Chan. Sol back in. <laughs> Come on. What is this? Ola Solabakan, 3 0 up now against Real Madrid. Fenerbahce, I can't believe it. I cannot believe that we are three goals up. They haven't even had a shot on target apart from that disallowed goal. Fenerbahce absolutely destroying Real Madrid. What, what is going on? Ferdi now. Ossie Samuel's ball in. It's not really cleared. Perez is there, but Mendy gets the better of him. Serdar wins against Benzema. What a ball. Samuel. Pedro! If he's onside, what? I don't know if he's onside or off. I don't want to celebrate yet. But 4 0 up would be. I don't know how Real Madrid will come back. Disallowed. Fair. Fair. I had, a, I had an inkling it was disallowed. But oh, what a start that would have been. What a first half. Let's just soak in the atmosphere. 3 0 up against Real Madrid in this first leg tie. I cannot believe it actually cannot believe what is going on. I can't believe we're doing Real Madrid like this. This is insane. Absolutely insane performance from the boys. Vinny Jr. has gone off now. Asensio comes on. I, I don't want to take anyone off because I'm frightened. If I take someone off, we're going to get absolutely banged. Alioski looks tired. Got to make the change. That trophy for Fana is tired. He's put in a shift. We're going to put on Diego Rossi. We're going to put on Attila Salai at left back. Samuel, is is Nazim on the bench? Nazim's not on the bench. Oh, 
I know that was a bad mistake from me. Soul back and off. Where's Diego Rossi? Can he play? Diego Rossi's already on. Damn it. Uh, Enna Valencia. Not the players I wanted to bring on. Soul back and then Fafana have been class, but they're tired. We'll need to rest them up in, in, in the return leg as well. In between those games. The boys have put in an absolute solid performance. Come on, boys. Let's not throw this away now. Samuel. Surgeon. Diego Rossi was nowhere to be seen. Salai and Rossi linking up. Rossi's there. Can he put in the right ball? Rossi does. Oh, Militao's. Oh, Ferdi's there. Valencia. No. This comes back out to Ossie Samuel, who loses it to Asensio. But Ferdi's in the right place. Luan Perez. No, I knew this was coming. And that's over Valverde into Benzema. Oh, Luan Perez did well there. And it's Salah has lost it again. Benzema, 3-1. No, he missed. You don't normally see Benzema miss them. It's just one of those things. I think it's just our night. Salai, no more mistakes, Salai. I know you're nervous, but drink it in. Soak it in. Camavinga now. Benzema, he's not going to miss that. Benzema missed again. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Benzema missing again. They're getting the game. I'm going defensive. I want to see out the 3-0 win to take to the Bernabeu. We're going to need the goals. Ossie Samuel. Mert Yandas gets, gets, gets bullied. Samuel's got to get back at Asensio. He's on a yellow, though, so don't do nothing stupid. Asensio went for the greedy, and we're glad because Alte was there with the save. Salai, just, just lay down on the ball, lads. Let's do some absolute time wasting, some devilry in the time wasting. And there it is, 3-0 win. I cannot believe we've dominated Real Madrid like that. What an absolutely insane result. Can we now go into the second leg? and get into the next round of the Champions League. From this position, it would be such a big shock if Real Madrid did go on and beat us 4 or 5 nil. but you never know. After the Real Madrid game, we beat Sivasport 8-2, absolutely tumped them, 1-7-1 and a 3 nil, and then drew 2-2 to Alanya Sport, which was a little bit disappointing, but we can take that. Can we now qualify for the quarterfinals of the Champions League? Real Madrid lineup is very strong. Kareem, the dream Benzema, Vinicius Junior, Asensio, who's dangerous on this game, Modric, Valverde, Mendy, Alaba, Rudiger, and Militao. It's the strongest team they could put out. We've put our strongest team out. Let's see what we can do. But I'm not holding out much hope in this game. Real Madrid playing like 4 1 4 1 formation, flat 4 4 2, almost um, kind of like Brexit football from Real Madrid. But you know, that's probably going a bit far, to be fair. Our four-two-three-one. We're going to take a balanced approach to this game. We can't go to we can't go to the Bernabeu and absolutely try and go for it. I mean, that would just be insane. We we just get thumped seven 0 But let's see how our balanced tactic does against Real Madrid. What we're hoping for is a very boring game with no highlights, just so we can get through in the next round. That would be absolutely insane. Or if there is going to be highlights, hopefully we can get a corner, a free kick, something like that. Because I don't know, Real Madrid are a strong team. Alioski, Lincoln. Alioski gets beat by Asensio, but Chan's there, gets beat by Valverde. Valverde's too strong, striding forward. Still Valverde misses. We'll take that. Just slow it down, lads. Slow the ball down. Kroos with the free kick. He can score bangers. Floats it in. Chan wins the header. Vinny Jr.'s there. Oh, Vinny's in. Vinny's not going to miss from there. We know Vinny Jr.'s not going to miss from there. He, he pops one back in the first 20 minutes for Real. I didn't. I mean, I was so gassed up after that 3 0 win, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I think they're going to put us out, which is which is fine. It's the first season. We're not expected to win the Champions League in our first season. I mean, it would be what an achievement that would be. It'd be absolutely incredible, probably unbelievable achievement. But no, I mean, even if we get through this tie, it's an unbelievable achievement, in my opinion. Luan Perez, Kroos, Militao. Still Militao, David Alaba. Come on, boys, press. I want to see some pressing. Even if we go down, I want to see us. I want to see us press. Oh, Benzema's not going to miss from there. Benzema misses another big, big chance in the tie. He had three or four in the last game as well. He's missed one there. Will they come back to haunt Real Madrid? David Datro, Crespo, Serdar, Ossie Samuel. This is good playing around from us. We're playing good triangles here. Ossie Samuel to Serdar. Can Serdar move it forward? 
Ossie Samuel goes for the switch, switches it to Alioski. Sol backens in behind, but Rudiger's there. Real Madrid just man for man are just so superior to us. And then they're able to go on the break with Rudiger. Vinny Jr. is going to tear Samuel a new one. Oh, Benzema not going to miss this. You can't keep giving Benzema space. You you can't you can't do it. You just he he's not going to miss six seven chances on the bounce. He's, he's just not. Alioski. Oh, Chan, you're getting bullied. Valverde misses one to draw them level. Ay, yeah, yeah, it's it's tense. It's absolutely tense. We're still one goal up, though. So you never know. I know Real Madrid are pushing. But if we can have a big second half, all we got to do is win the second half or draw the second half and we're through. I know that doesn't sound like much, but... That's, that's the way it's got to be. Our left side's absolutely ruined. We're going to have to make some subs. Diego Rossi. And, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Attila Salai is going to come on. I'm going to have to hope that's enough. We're going to take Pedro off and bring on Batswai. And third, he's going to come on for Ossie Samuel because Vinny's been giving him a tough time. Four subs, not ideal, but, oh, Modric is in. Oh, Vinny Jr. levels the tie. I did say 3-0. I didn't think it would be enough. He's earned that. They've earned it. They've been the better team. We needed to beat them four or five. It was just never going to happen, was it? It was never going to happen. Alverdi. Asensio over the bar. Come on, boys. We just... Oh, Serdar Aziz needs to come off. He's playing a 6.2. He's having a tough game. Bring on William Arejo. He's not fit, but we don't have any other options. Modric, oh, Chua, Meni, and Rodrigo on. Whoa. The squad's just too good. It's, it's just far too good. Lincoln, Alaba, oh. Rodrigo, Benzema, Perez is out there. Nacho, oh, Nacho's never going to score that. No offense to Nacho, but he's never, ever going to score that. If it was Benzema or Vinny, I'd, I'd have been like, yeah, cool, they probably will score that. Come on, boys. We just need one chance. All we need is a corner or a free kick. Uh, Fan Chan with that free kick that I was talking about. I need Perez, you can't. You've got to make sure you win those headers. Oh, here we go. Great switch from Vinny Jr. Militao. Alvarez. Rodrigo. Nacho. Rodrigo, oh, Vinny's in. What a save from Alte. Vinny don't normally miss them. Is that a sign of something? I don't know. Still got extra time to play, and we haven't really even had a chance, so we've got another half an hour of getting absolutely battered. Nacho. Oh, Alte will come to claim that. Well done, Alte. It's tough. It is tough. The best we can hope for now is penalties. That's literally the best we can hope for. Chan. Crespo. Uh, that's good. That's good. But we need to move it forward. Not not play it around there or, or hoof it because we're not going to... That's why I've got to win that, surely. That's why... What are you actually good at? You can't win... Oh, well done. Erfan Chan. That's why. Crespo. Could this be our one chance? 30. 30. Still going. Go on, 30. Come on, 30. Drive. That's why. <laughs> yes. Come on, Mitzi. That's why. I was just ruining him. And he scores a bullet header. That is the exact response I was hoping for. It never normally works out that way. But it works that time. Oh, no. This is going to be the worst 20 minutes of my life. Luan Perez. William Arejo. Crespo. That's right. Come on, Ferdy. You made that goal. Go on, son. Keep going, son. Oh, it's a poor ball. I got a bit gassed because he made one run. Oh, Benzema's run off the centre back. Finney Jr.'s in. Finney Jr. scores. Oh, no, he doesn't. He missed. Some big misses from Vinny in this game. 15 minutes plus added time. We're going to go sweaty. We're going to go very defensive. We're just going to park every man behind. 
park the bus, park the train, park the tank, park everything. The kitchen sink, oh, it's a corner now. Alaba, two and many heads it over. Real Madrid have had the chances. Real Madrid have had the chances. There's not long left. They've got another chance. They're not going to keep missing. Told you, they're not going to keep missing. Militao, 4 1. I'm hoping away goals count. I can't remember if away goals count this season, but if they do, th th that could help us. Um, we're clutching at straws. Oh, no, it's 120th minute. No, just just kick it out. Come on, we don't get we don't deserve to get done like this. Although we haven't played well at all in this game. Oh, they're going to score. Yep. Yep, that's it. That's the game. Beaten 5-1. What can we say? We tried. We didn't play well. There's always next season. It's not a great way to end the episode, but we're out of the Champions League at the round of 16 tie. Real Madrid outclassed us. What can I say? These things happen, and I'll catch you on the next episode.